What's up, everybody? You're back with The Chosen Con. Uh, and today in the studio, we have The Teach, a.k.a. Aisha, Azba, Amiji. And we go into the origin story of all those names as well. But yes, go ahead, say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. It's Aisha, Azba, Amiji. Yes. And what was your name back in the day? I was born as Azba Bilkis Azad. There you go, man. She has it's evolved. She yes. has transformed. It's the like evolution. The, that's that. And we go through the evolution in the podcast. <laughs> See, Aisha, like she rolls into the podcast and she's like, you know, I'm going to talk about some things. But then she doesn't realize that when you come on the show, you start talking about things that you don't even real like you, you haven't even thought of, right? Not a long time. Like garbage bags or yeah. plastic bags, things like that. <laughs> But so today, quickly, just a couple of things we covered. Um, we covered your journey and the whole yes. education system, right? Definitely. Where, how many schools did you go to? Like you went to, what was your first school? Uh, BC Muslim School yeah. to uh, Green Timbers, Enver Creek, Jamiel Kothar. Um, Which was in where? UBC, University of Montreal. Like, she went to a lot of schools. A lot of schools. Yeah. SFU. So, I didn't work at a school. I started a school. School is my life. See, and then I'm the... Actually, I went to 12 different schools, so I, yeah, I, yeah. I understand. You're the same boat. Yeah, except I never became a teacher. <laughs> well, actually, maybe with your school. Yeah. You're the only person empowering me enough to be like, you know, you can teach you something. Are, like, you are what? a teacher. <laughs> okay, so that we talked about that. Yes. Um, we talked about... Uh, like, we talked about religion, about going to Muslim school. Yeah. What was it like that? One thing that I really enjoyed was when we talked about what it was like to be a Muslim. Remember when you went to the Definitely. school? What, what yeah. did the, the headmaster say to you? Yeah, the first question, I walk into this Hogwarts building and more... Uh, yeah, it's, it's just the first question someone asks you is, uh, what type of Muslim are you? And I was just kind of like, what? Mm -hmm. What does I'm that mean? I'm a Muslim. Mean? Yeah. Like, how many types are there? There's just, like, I always thought there was just one. Mm -hmm. I'm Muslim. Oh, and then we, we talk about why that is and yeah. how we go into like, no, you got to be a certain type of Muslim. You're a Sunni, mm -hmm. Hanafi, all these things. And then when you look into it, yeah. you dive deep into it. You're like, what the hell? It was all political things that tore everyone apart. And now it's like, this is my other title. And this is why I believe this, this. And then we dive into yeah. that. Um, then we talk about the education system and how you were a, a recruiter. Like, what was that like when you were working in the system? Uh, it was a great experience kind of seeing... Uh, the education system from the student's perspective, the prospective student, the one that will never get in. Yeah. Um, also the parents' perspective, the educators, the institution as a whole. Um, and what a tool education, like school, the box, yeah. is to kind of form the young minds of the next generation of citizens. And what do you think about school right now? Like, in, in it's in right now, like a contemporary, like, what do you think of school, like education? I think education needs to be broken out of the box. Um, I don't think it's very um, effective unless you have the right people. And like with any institution or any system, anything, it's, it's the people that make the institution. So if you go to a school where you have caring teachers, teachers that are there to to guide you, to kind of, you know, take your creativity and foster it and put you in the right direction then that's a great school yeah but when you don't have that it's really detrimental to the student's experience like you're growing up and you're not getting that you're just going to a place where you sit in a box for 12 years and you're just trying to figure things out by yourself you don't have that guidance and I think a teacher's role is always to facilitate facilitate thinking creative thinking critical thinking and if you're not getting that care and critical thinking then what's the point of that school very true and so what did you do? Like, it's, you created Freed. You're wearing the t-shirt. You can even show it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, what is Freed? So, Freed um, is, stands for free education. So, it's something that, it's a goal that we're working towards. And it kind of always reminds me that. But it's basically breaking education out of the box. So, what is education? Education is when you learn a set of skills that improve the quality of your life. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've taken amazing people, we've turned them into instructors and created courses about what they're very skilled at and what yes. they're very passionate at. Because if you have skill and passion and you know how to care about students, you're going to transform that student's life. Uh, you, so we have a bunch of uh, courses and programs that focus on community building and skill enhancement. And when you have the two together, you have a very powerful site of social change. It's really cool. And yeah. then the, the last thing I even wanted to touch on was um, Voices of Muslim Women. And that's how I really like got to know you properly was when mm -hmm. I went to this event that was at Kwantlen. And I took yeah. my mom and my sisters 
and it was all these Muslim women. Like my cousin Nida was well, did a video and Nida's all these things. Yeah, yeah, she's awesome. I saw the basically there's all these videos and it was Muslim empowering Muslim women. Not even empowering, but it's just letting them be themselves. Yeah, like hey, you know what? A platform. It's a platform to let Muslim women share their stories mm -hmm. because we're. I think out of all the populations, we are the most misrepresented. Um, and always kind of put into this box of the silenced, oppressed, uneducated Muslim woman who can't really critically think for herself or speak for herself. And, you know, you may have one set of reality where there are some women in these situations, but we also have this reality where Muslim women are kicking ass, like we're lawyers, we're professors, we're, um, we're working extremely hard in different fields achieving great accomplishments mm -hmm. and there was never a platform to recognize this within our community um so the voices of muslim women when we had a film festival where we took issues from mental health to body image to gender inequality and turned them into creative films to share our experiences our authentic experiences and then we also did the vmw awards where we had different categories of excellence for mm -hmm. muslim women so it's really powerful when you create a platform like for Muslim women by Muslim women. Yeah. That's where change happens. It's always got to come for the community from the community. Yeah, yeah. Not that whole yeah. savior mentality, which we do dive into as well because yeah. you went to Uganda. For, he has, she did a lot of crazy things. It's really cool. I hope one day your kids get to watch this. <laughs> um, but on a, uh, to end off, I wanted to say the first ever Muslim woman. Yes. It was the prophet's wife, Hazrat Khadija. She was the first Muslim woman to accept the religion she had more money than him she was a businesswoman she basically like she proposed to him and also i this is what i learned recently was that uh when they got married like he moved in with her so these are all things that you're like wait a minute that doesn't make any sense but that's that's the truth so it's like yes like muslim women are the most powerful but somewhere along the lines we started suppressing that feminine energy and started suppressing and i think that's why society became yeah. the way it is but then you got a badass like aisha over here and you're like all right things are there things are moving along in the right way so thank you again for coming on the show check thank out the full podcast me. check out aisha on free check out free check out voice of muslim women check out aisha's instagram her, uh, what else What else is there, Aisha? Is that everything? Is that your Facebook? That's pretty much it. Digital Lens and uh, Muslim Identity and Representation Conference. There we go. She does a lot of things. Yours truly is going to be the keynote. So. Yeah, so don't waste your time. All right. Uh, all right. Thank you, everybody. We'll talk to you all soon. Peace. Thank you for watching our videos. Your support really means a lot to us. Check out our podcast and, and honestly, check out the other conversations we've been having as well.